Oh, I, I didn't think I needed to say anything because the new Jeremiah trailer's out and everyone keeps telling me to cover it. So let's talk about this new little primary trailer kind of thing because there's actually quite a bit to discuss. How's it going Gothamites? Welcome to a brand new Gotham video. Now today I'm going to be going over that kind of quick Jeremiah promo but there's quite a little bit of information in there and I want to talk about a whole little bit of Gotham stuff all mixed in one little Gothamite bag and thrown out into this video. Now I really like what Gotham are doing with these little quick promos. I don't know how much more we will be getting because in case you guys didn't already I think I've mentioned this in a previous video but we're getting around a three minute trailer of all new Gotham footage apparently uh, later on this month. So not the one I'm about to show in this video and talk about but even more new stuff which obviously you can be sure I will cover in uh, on this channel. So you would have to think that it would be maybe around Christmas before Christmas maybe because Gotham is returning January 3rd. Uh, but anyway guys uh, I'm going to talk about this trailer now because I'm sure you're all itching to see it. I mean I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it but uh, either way some of you may not have. Uh, so three, two, one, roll the trailer. So as quick as that was, that was pretty cool. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are Jeremiah slash Jokery kind of fans out there, and that is what you just want to see all the time. So Gotham, I would definitely advise you to keep your fans happy, post more stuff like this. Uh, but it actually contained quite a bit of stuff. I've got quite a few ideas as to what could be going on, especially with that Alfred moment. So before I break down this, everyone, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and be sure to turn the notification bell on uh, so you never miss out on a single video. And of course, just for some general support, hit that like button as it really does help out more than you know. So some of you may or may not remember but that first shot we got from the trailer is actually something we've seen before from Cameron Monaghan where he posted I think one of the first Jeremiah teaser like pictures uh, out on his Instagram or something like that and actually yeah this was actually one of our first looks because I remember talking about how in this photo or should I say clip of Jeremiah I was appreciating how they've made subtle changes to his look this season to make him a little bit more jokery and more chiseled for example uh, his eyebrows are a lot more pointy there and as we all know the Joker's got very angular kind of sharp uh, chiseled looks to his face usually and the eyebrows really help define and make that creation of the Joker look that Jeremiah will be really sporting this season. But what is he doing? I mean it seems that he's sleeping on a load of clothes, maybe some of the tailored suits that he's been picking up, maybe a few new ones we might see this season. I mean right there he is wearing some kind of glistening purpley I think coat. I can't really make it out too well but as I said we've seen this photo before. I mean this could be just one of those moments where he's closing his eyes and like seething some thought but at the same time, he's probably sleeping. But could you just imagine what Jeremiah dreams about? It, it, that's that's kind of creepy to think about. Now, the next clip, everyone, we see Mr. Detective JCPD Gordon <laughs> running uh, through an alleyway. Now, the fact that this is included in a Jeremiah teaser, so I'm thinking that this clip here of Jim running is in the same episode as what Jeremiah is or whatever his big day that he's planning uh, here. But I will talk about that a little bit later in this video. Now, could he be running from Jeremiah? Jeremiah, I don't think that Jeremiah would be chasing down Jim. I mean, I think Jim would be able to take on Jeremiah, but you never know. It could be uh, Jeremiah's goons. It could be like, you know, Echo's goons. It could be anyone. This could just be a side plot story that Jim is uh, going through in the same episode, because as you often know, guys, sometimes there's uh, different plots going on in the episode. Jim could be doing something completely different whilst Jeremiah faces some stuff with Bruce. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to wait and see but there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff going on So it's gonna be intriguing if some stuff is gonna be left actually alone to Bruce and Jim might be unbeknownst to it Because I think it would be really cool if it was just an exclusive Alfred Bruce and Jim, uh, not Jim, a Jeremiah storyline, uh, and maybe Jim will get involved later on. But this season, Bruce shouldn't be getting rescued by Jim all the time. Leave it to him and let him, you know, become the man that he's meant to be and sort it out himself because we all know 
Bruce Wayne can and will be able to handle things by himself eventually. And, and this is the season, if any, for that. Now, this clip of Echo is uh, familiar and we have seen stuff like this before. So this does contain a little bit of recycled footage. Now, this could just be Echo looking at Jeremiah in those same photos that uh, Cameron Monaghan teased of them dancing together or whatever they're doing in that scene. Either way, I love Echo's look this season. As you all know, we've actually got a preview of what she will look like in her Harley Quinn-esque looking costume from the stunt double uh, who's posted quite a few photos about that so she will be looking even more Harley Quinn-esque uh, this season even if she won't be Harley Quinn uh, whether you believe that or not. Regardless what they do with Echo this season, whether they make her like the Gotham's version of Harley Quinn or not, she could just be the role model to the future Harleen Quinzel who will be around in potentially the 10 year time jump and beyond. I'm not saying Harleen Quinzel is going to be in it, but you know what I mean, like in the world considering Gotham is a prequel show to the traditional Batman canon, albeit with a few changes. Now this next teaser that they gave us is very interesting, uh, just because not only is it a map of Gotham City, it's actually a brand new map uh, with locations of each villain sector of Gotham. Now you may or may not notice something else about this as well and that is the fact that there is the traditional Jerome cult uh, you know kind of vandalism on it uh, with a ha 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 smile face. Uh, now I've got two minds about this because it could be Jeremiah and the gang or the goons or whatever spreading this around Gotham still but the thing that detracts me from that theory is just because Jeremiah does not like Jerome or his brother and, and does not really want to continue with that cult. I mean for, for example he did burn them all last season well I mean so maybe some got out there and that leads into my next theory is that there could still be Jerome supporters out there the cult who are still spreading that symbol of madness that is sprayed on this map right here uh, and that'd be pretty cool as well I mean yeah I guess the Jerome cult don't really have a place this season uh, but maybe they do in the sense of just the whole inspiration arc anyway and then again some of you could counter it as you know Jeremiah did keep Jerome's book and he said he's going to use all of those plans that he had but build upon them or something like that right so you could argue that he's uh, kept the vandalism picture as well and he's just embracing that symbol and is spreading that all around the city. I would love to know what you think there. Do you think that this is the old Jerome cult still like putting along his name or do you think that Jeremiah has just embraced it? I, I really don't know. I'm off two minds there. But anyway, uh, looking closer at the map, you can see the whopping great big corner that Penguin has. Uh, in Gotham City and that is City Hall. We saw him walk in there at the end of last season and we know that he is essentially Emperor Penguin. I have been over this information before but just to quickly reiterate it, uh, a lot of people need to go through Penguin and he's got quite the Emperor kind of position and that's because he's running the guns, the ammo and everything like that and obviously for all the other villains like Firefly, Victor Freeze and everyone like that, obviously they will need guns and ammo to, to uphold their sectors of Gotham from the GCPD and, you know, whoever's trying to liberate it, like Bruce. Other spots you may not have seen is Freeze up on the top right there, Fireflies in the middle, you've got Scarecrows, and that reminds me, you guys probably did see the Scarecrow promo from the other day. Uh, we've got Zaz, which is uh, slightly covered up by the eye there. You've got the Sirens on the left. You've got the GCPD, which has got quite a big uh, sector, surprisingly. You've got the Street Demons, and I believe that we've seen them in one of the original Gotham Season 5 trailers, which barely showed anything, but I think you guys may know who I'm on, who I'm on about and, and I might even be showing them on screen but I could be wrong I don't know uh, and then you've got the low low boy I don't even know what it says low boys I don't even know and now onto the bit I'm sure a lot of you are probably upset about but also loving and that is Alfred walks out into the middle of a road in Gotham you can see some people in the background there they're probably just some citizens who didn't get out and staying behind you can see that Alfred's got this uh, backpack as well now this could now, this could be when he returns to Gotham, but the thing that slightly puts me off saying that, is he really returning to Gotham after, you know, dropping off Selina and looking after her maybe 151 days later? I'm not sure, but either way, there are around three or four time jumps this season. For example, uh, it starts off with the end of No Man's Land, and then it goes back to No Man's Land, uh, the very beginning of it, so we can lead up to that moment. And then in the middle, there's a couple of time jumps, then there's obviously the 10-year time jump, but I've mentioned this all before. But I do want to just say, look, that is such an awesome cinematic shot of Gotham in No Man's Land. I just think that is beautiful. I just love it. I really, really do. Anyway, Alfred is spooked out. He gets his gun out and he's just like, what's that noise? You can hear a couple of cans being kicked. You could argue that, obviously, because we know Jeremiah is about to pop out, uh, that's Echo or just maybe some of Echo's goons or Jeremiah's goons 
creating a distraction noise. Um, I do find it kind of funny, you know, when Alfred's looking around. I have absolutely no idea how Jeremiah got the jump on uh, Alfred, considering he's former SAS and, like, he was looking around. And then, I mean, it is just for the sake of the episode and cinematics and plot logic, comic book logic. But that's when Jeremiah creeps up on Alfred and he's blatantly going to knock him out or drug him. And then we hear Jeremiah in the same clip that we got from the This Is The End trailer, but it was very, that was just a smart or a scene of him laughing. And now we get the actual uh, line that he says, and that is, today is the big day. And as I mentioned in my trailer breakdown back then, this is Wayne Manor. So evidently, well, this is my theory anyway. What I think Jeremiah is doing here is quite simply um, kidnapping Alfred. He's going to take him back to Wayne Manor. Uh, to lure Bruce there and that is when we see in the trailer as well it could be an unrelated scene but they did pair them together uh, Bruce is walking in the hallways and he's just like screw you man it's, I'm gonna get my Alfred Butler back you, you know what I mean now, but essentially uh, in uh, Jeremiah's skewed mind and this has been uh, said by Cameron Monaghan he's gonna try and prove to Bruce about his friendship like obviously last season he came on top, like even technically above Penguin if you think about what he's achieved. He caused no man's land, his brother's gone, he is a genius, he's egotistical now. But the one thing that he didn't, you know, really conquer or like achieve was what he had planned for Bruce or like his friendship with Bruce. So this season, we're going to see him do things like this, I'm guessing, to try and win across Bruce. And I'm guessing that is the big day and it will be... I think I'm paraphrasing here. Cameron did say that it will be his twisted way of displaying affection for Bruce or like love, you know, friendship kind of love for Bruce. So, so obviously I don't know where it's going to go after this. I don't know what Jeremiah's skewed mind is planning uh, to somehow convey across his friendship to Bruce by kidnapping Alfred. Uh, but it is a big day. I guess he's been really planning it for quite a while. Whether we're going to see some of that before this episode uh, in, you know, the building up stages to him nicking Alfred and why he would do it. But then again, I mean, I'm guessing, you know, how are you going to add up one plus one with crazy? But either way, all I know is that I'm excited. I really can't wait to see Cameron Monaghan dominate the screen this season. I think he will be in it quite a bit considering like last season he got ramped up a bit more this is the last season uh so i i trust that he will be on screen quite a bit as jeremiah uh and there's only like 12 episodes so let me know what you're most excited about with this little quick uh, promo that we got guys what do you think of everything i pointed out from this promo like with what jeremiah's planning to do with alfred what kind of crazy idea or theories do you have in relation to just everything guys i would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below just want to let you know i do read all of your comments i might not be able to get back to every single one of them. Other than that, everyone, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this. Like the video if you definitely got this far as well. Click that like button. It really does help out more than you know. Of course, links to my merch are in the description and other places to support me like Patreon and everything like that. I might be like releasing some hats as well with the Boba Talks logo and stuff. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you like the tree in the background as well. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you Jokers in or Gothamites in the next video. Goodbye.